What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy JP coming to y'all with another how to. And today we're going to be talking about speaker polarity and making sure that your speakers are in phase. And this is your first time tuning into the channel. Please consider subscribing because this is the type of things that we do here car audio tutorials, radio removals, QAs, how to's, speaker removals, uh, installs, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's just get into it. So have you guys ever been listening to your system and your system sounds kind of off? Or maybe if you look at two speakers side by side or maybe two subs side by side and they're not moving in the same direction, like maybe this one's moving up and then this one's moving down, well then your speakers are probably in the wrong polarity or they're wired in the wrong polarity, which means that your positive and negative is probably swapped. And even though it's still getting power, it's allowing the speaker to move inward instead of outward. See, what you want is you want your speakers to move in the exact same motion, the exact same way so it sounds as, as it's supposed to and that's why we're going to be talking about speaker polarity and how to find which one's positive and which one's negative now a lot of times when you look at your aftermarket speaker sometimes you'll see a little plus on this side and a minus on that side but your bigger terminal is usually the positive the smaller one's usually the negative also if your speaker has like a little small cap on it it's usually hooked up to the positive because this is for this tweeter so there's no base that comes out the tweeter it's kind of like your your filter or your base blocker but if you're looking at this factory there is no capacitor on the factory speaker Speaker. As a matter of fact, there is no indication on what's positive and what's negative. And I know a lot of times you might be thinking, well, what does it matter if I am swapping out this factory speaker with this aftermarket speaker? Well, even though you know that this is positive and this is negative on here, if you don't have a speaker harness, which means you take this out of that harness, plug it in, and you have the exact uh, white and black for positive and negative terminals that goes to this speaker then you're going to have to tap into the harness and if you don't have a wire diagram then you need to know which side is positive and which side is negative so what we're going to use right here is this pack uh, tone generator spaz slash speaker um, polarity tester. I have had this thing for a very long time. Uh, this one's probably about 40 bucks. Install Bay makes one. It's like $24. I'll put both of those links in the description for you. But this is exactly how, this is what I use to check my polarity now i used to use a 9 volt battery but we're not using that no more i'm not knocking it if you guys have a 9 volt battery put a red wire on the positive and a black wire on the negative and then you'll be able to pop these but this is what we're using now uh because right here i can press on which means this thing will stay on for five minutes and it'll pop the speaker continuously for five minutes like if we need to check speakers but i can simply just press this for the speaker test and then it'll have a little pop I can also change it from 13 hertz to 10,000 hertz and how much voltage these things are actually getting so I'm not damaging anything. I usually just keep it all the way up because it's still just a little battery. So what this thing does is we will take the negative and even though I know this is positive, I'm gonna put that on here because I want you to see the way that the speaker actually moved. So this would be out of phase or in reverse polarity because we're gonna see the speaker actually go inward. That's just me pressing the speaker pop. Y'all see the speaker is actually moving inward. So that means that our positive is not on the positive and our negative is not on the negative. It's switched. So when I turn, put this negative right here on the negative and then do vice versa with the positive. When we press the speaker pop button, the speaker will move outward. So when the speaker moves outward, that means your positive is positive and your negative is negative and we are in the right polarity. If they are swapped, then the speaker will move inward and that's letting you know that you need to swap them over. So how does that help us here? Let's just say we took our speaker out of the car and we have our positive on this side and our negative on that side. Now when we press this little speaker pot, we're going to see what direction the speaker, the speaker actually moves. So even though that's a little low, I can still see that the speaker is actually moving outward. So since it's moving outward, then what I have hooked up here means it is in the proper polarity. So my positive is on the left side of my harness and my negative is on the right side of my harness. So what can I do with this information? I can take this speaker and plug it back in to the harness 
and then I know that this side is the positive so whatever wire is coming down ew god dang spider web <laughs> wire is coming down aligned with the left side that's going to be the one on the positive because your speaker wire is going to be a totally different color it's not going to be white and black or red and black it's going to be like blue with a white stripe or red with a purple stripe or solid purple or pink with a green stripe it's going to be different so with this information that you guys know you're going to be able to plug that harness in I know that what this side is the positive side so whatever wire is on this side is gonna be my positive then all I got to do is splice into my wire and then run those to not from the speaker but from the harness and then I can run those to the positive and the negative on my speaker and then that way with this information you'll be able to hook your whole system up in the proper phase or in the proper polarity so it sounds the best um, this is really just one of those quick videos i just want to come up to give you guys a little bit more information give y'all some of that good info for the low all the all the links will be in the description down below but again if you guys found any type of value in this video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment if you want to till next time this is your boy jp signing out